poverty, homelessness, and hunger in Los Angeles County. We're going to find out what populations are most at risk. We're going to learn what's being done now to alleviate hunger in Los Angeles County. And we're going to learn about ways that we can help our community, ways that we can be a part of this effort. family of four people, it's $1,611 a month for a whole family of four. And put into a little perspective, according to the LA Times, uh, an article from April 2009 said at the end of the year before, the average one bedroom apartment in LA rented for $1,397 a month. The prevalence of poverty in the US, 43.6 million people in the US are living in poverty. That's 14.3% of Americans, or one in seven. So 50 million people had problems getting adequate nutrition last year, which is 16.6% .6 of the U.S. population. I just wanted to throw a definition out there for hunger, the discomfort, illness, weakness, or pain caused by a prolonged involuntary lack of food. I think it's important to highlight those, those first words, discomfort, illness, weakness, and pain. Um, I know at least within my family and friends, we, are, we often say a lot, I'm so hungry, but that definition, I think, we have to ask ourselves, are we really hungry compared to people who really have no access to food or adequate nutrition? And the implications of hunger. Um, as we see here, a lot of implications of being hungry, obviously, but I'm sure we can all relate to the time when we feel that we are in need of, of, of a meal and food. We know that we are not ourselves. We can't um, function the way we would like. We chose the Alley Food Bank because it helps over a million people in California and which includes uh, children and senior citizens. So you can see right away that just a small sacrifice, maybe once a week, could go on with somebody else. Benefits of helping others, other than the fact that you're these happy people, uh, it boosts your mood and increase happiness overall. Uh, you feel connected to others, reduce stress, improve your health, uh, you release feel-good brain chemicals, and add a sense of purpose and meaning to life. Sitting down and talking to him, I talked to him for about 10 15 minutes. And I just listened and counseled any judgment, and he really took to it. And he showed, he showed me the side of himself that he probably wouldn't show anybody else. I have actually been volunteering at the LA Food Bank. The first time I walked in, I was struck by how huge it was. And then I realized that last year alone, they fed a million people with that food. And then I was thinking that's not nearly enough because they're just making a dent and there are so many more people and their goal is to feed every hungry person in LA County and let nobody go hungry. My first job was uh, putting a can of sliced peaches into every grocery bag that went past me for three hours. And if you think a can of peaches isn't very heavy, do that over and over for an entire pallet that's stacked on that thing. But it felt great just to just to put myself in their shoes was even more rewarding that I was helping them out. Mm -hmm. It was just an amazing experience and I would encourage anybody to go one Saturday morning and go be a part of it. He was going there not only because he was struggling with money, but because he could eat with other seniors and since he couldn't be with his wife all the time. And, and these people at the senior center, they, they get their food from the food bank. It was just it was overwhelming and you could just see like how grateful they were and like the hope that they had just because of a basic need for food. There was a man there who I noticed and kept staring at me. He, he looked at me and I said, well here you go man, have a great day. And he said, uh, well why are you here? And I said, well I'm here to help. And he was like, who are you here to help? And like, I, I put on my hand and grabbed my hand and he shook it. I said, well I'm here to help you. And he closed his eyes and he just kind of just took like a couple seconds and he started nodding his head and he was like, thank you. 